Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Well, that one was easy because two halves fill the gap. But now we only have thirds and four. How do thirds and fourths come together to make a whole? Yeah, fractions are so frustrating. I'm sure this is a common complaint most parents hear right around math homework time. One of the causes of fraction frustrations is the lack of understanding what a fraction is, what it means. The key to understanding fractions is to understand how you're defining your whole. For example, if you take a whole and you divide into two equal pieces, you get halves. If you take a half and divide into two equal pieces, you get fourths, because fourths are half of a half if you're defining your half as a whole. Does that make sense? Yeah, that might have been just a little confusing. Yeah, think. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. Let's go back to basics. We're gonna make fraction cards. To do this, you'll need... Some strips of construction paper, all the same size. And scissors and markers. So each of these strips are going to define as a whole. So write on one strip the number one to indicate it as a whole. Next, take a second strip and fold it in half. Cut along the fold to make two equal pieces. Each of these is one of two pieces, so we write it as one over two, one half. Now take a third strip, fold it in half, then half again, then cut along the folds. I see, so we get four pieces. And since each piece is one of four, we write it as one over four, one fourth. Now you're getting it. So the next will fold in half, then half again, then half again. Eight pieces, so each is one of eight, written as one over eight, one eighth. Excellent. Now fold a strip in half, half again, half again, and half one more time. Sixteen pieces. So each is one of sixteen, written as one over sixteen. One sixteenth. Now let's lay them out so each one has its own row. First the whole, then halves, fourths, eighths, and sixteenths. So take a look at the strips. What patterns do you see? Well, I see that two fourths are the same length as one half. Good. That's what we call equivalence. When two things are equivalent, it means they have the same value. One half is equivalent to two fourths. Earlier you said that one half of one half is one fourth. So if we take this one one half piece and fold it in half, it is the same length as one fourth. I get it, one half of one half is one fourth. So since two of the one eighth pieces are the same length as the one fourth piece, one fourth is equivalent to two eighths. And one half of one fourth is one eighth. Correct, you're getting it. Let's add in three more fractions. First fold a strip into three equal pieces and cut it to get thirds. Fold a second strip into thirds, then in half. That will give you six pieces for sixths. And finally fold another strip first into thirds, then half, then in half again for twelfths. Now add those three rows to your other fraction rows. What are some equivalencies you now see? Hmm, well, two-sixths is equivalent to one-third, or one-half of one-third is one-sixth. Oh, hey, look! Three-twelfths is equivalent to one-fourth. One-third of one-fourth is one-twelfth. Check it out! Three-sixths is equivalent to one-half. One-third of one-half is one-sixth. So now that you have your fraction cards and understand equivalencies, let me show you a fun game you can play. So we've taken a die and covered it with tape and labeled it, but you can just take a die and cover it with stickers. Then label the sides with one third, one fourth, one sixth, one eighth, one twelfth, and one sixteenth. We're skipping one half because it makes the game go too fast. Take turns rolling the die. Whatever fraction you roll, you take that piece from the deck. The first person to reach the equivalent of a hole without going over wins. If you roll a fraction that is too big, to use on your current row, you can start a new row and play off both rows. I did it! One third and two fourths and one sixth is equivalent to a whole. I win! Wait, I think I know how to solve the rest of the Restore the Power puzzle. Me too. Let's get down to Cyber Chase and try it out. I guess fractions aren't so frustrating anymore. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>